Hi, my name is Nellie Chow, and I'm a social worker with the Calgary Stroke Early Supported Discharge Program. Nine in 10 Canadians have at least one risk factor for stroke or heart disease. Prevention starts with knowing your risk. Many risk factors, such as an unhealthy diet, physical inactivity, unhealthy weight, smoking, excessive alcohol and drug use, and stress can be managed with lifestyle changes. The Canadian Stroke Best Practice Guidelines recommends that education on symptoms and stress management techniques be an integral part of stroke care for people with stroke, their families and caregivers. One of the first ways to manage stress is to understand what it is and how it affects us. Stress is anything that puts strain on the body by increasing our heart rate and stress hormone levels, as it is our body's natural response to something we perceive as negative or a threat. Stressors can be physical, such as too much exercise, having a chronic illness or experiencing pain, or they can be emotional, like a situation, an event, or a person that can trigger the stress response. Stress happens first in the mind and it has a strong effect on the body. Your nervous system is activated to protect you by releasing stress hormones, such as adrenaline and cortisol. Your heart pounds, muscles tighten, blood pressure rises, breath quickens, your senses sharpen, and the body is ready for action. This is also referred to as the fight or flight response. A healthy amount of stress can challenge us to perform at our best and to accomplish tasks more efficiently. Whether the threat is immediate, like when you see a bear in the distance while hiking, or ongoing, like having too much to do and not enough time, your body reacts just as if you are facing a life and death situation. Ongoing chronic stress keeps our emergency response turned on all the time until it becomes too much or unhealthy stress. The more your body's stress response is activated, the harder it is to shut off. Long periods of unmanaged stress can increase your risk for developing serious health problems. We know that some people with high levels of stress or chronic prolonged stress have higher levels of cholesterol and blood pressure, which can lead to arthrosclerosis, narrowing of the arteries, which is a risk factor for stroke. Stress may be difficult to recognize because it can start to feel familiar or even normal. You can get used to feeling stressed and ignored, or maybe not notice how much it's affecting you. Your perceptions, thoughts, and actions can make a big difference in managing stress. By understanding yourself and your reactions to stressful situations, you can learn to cope better. Warning signs of unmanaged stress are different for everyone. Knowing your warning signs can help you to address your stress, as everybody has their own individual stress reaction. Let's take a look at some examples of the different ways that stress can have an impact on us. Some examples of physical symptoms are stomach aches, headaches, fatigue, muscle tension, teeth grinding, teeth clenching, or muscle tension in your neck and back, or restlessness. And some examples of emotional signs are crying more easily, becoming more easily angered and irritable, negative thinking, and often unmanaged stress can lead to anxiety and depression. And some examples of behavioral signs are self-isolation, changes in sleep, either sleeping too much or not getting enough sleep, changes in motivation, and turning to unhealthy coping habits like smoking or drinking and drug use. And some examples of cognitive and mental signs are forgetfulness, constant worrying, racing thoughts, inability to make decisions, or an all or nothing thinking. These are all normal and typical responses to stress. And we all have ways of coping with stress, such as exercising, going out with friends, or driving out to the mountains. However, after a stroke, some of your coping methods may not be as easily accessible or practical, and it could be helpful to develop new strategies or tools to add to your stress management toolbox. Using strategies to manage your stress helps to turn off your body's fight or flight response and brings balance to your nervous system. 
Please visit our other videos that will introduce specific strategies, such as practical strategies for managing anxiety and frustration and psychological resilience. If you have any questions or concerns with regards to managing your stress, please reach out to your family doctor or contact your local health clinic. This concludes our presentation on managing stress after stroke. Thank you for listening.